Hi, my name is Lexis Lagumbe, Miss Young Philippines USA 2015, and you're watching philippinenews.com. Good evening, thank you, Bob. Well, we came up a big short from the uh, looks of it. I'm not going to argue with the with the scorecard. I'm not going to argue with the referees here in Las Vegas. I feel that we have the best officials. I do feel that it was a good, entertaining fight. Um, you know, it's a chess match. It really was. I had to stay alive every second of the fight. As you saw, in the, I believe it was the third round. You know, I uh, got a little confident. He caught me with, a, with this. I got a little overconfident with the speed, and he caught me with a good, sharp left hand. But uh, over the entire fight, I believe it was a chess match. I expected, you know, uh, Manny to be a little more aggressive as he usually is. You know, and we were expected to catch him with that nice right hand. We were looking for it over and over again. Uh, we caught it a few times. We had stunned him a couple of times. But um, I mean, he's a very experienced fighter. I give him credit. You know, he's, he's a legend. And um, I hope that everyone here enjoyed the fight. You know, I, I tried my best to try to. Give me an entertaining fight. I was staying on my, on my toes. I was trying to catch him as much as I could coming in and not be aggressive from time to time. And we got a little heated as well. Um, but overall, I hope that you enjoyed it. And I feel that it made me a better fighter, without a doubt. Uh, just just being in there with uh, Andy. You know, and
Bradley said that he had uh, he was complaining about his toes. <laughs> you know, and you definitely got to stay on your toes with Randy, and uh, you know, uh, he's quick. You know, he was, he was in and out real quick, and uh, I feel like that was, uh, you know, I I, I stayed trying to connect, connect him with the right hand. Because it wasn't that easy to connect. Jesse, right here in front. When you were in the ring with Manny Pac there, we spoke a lot before the fight. Uh, you know, what, what do you think it would be like to be in the ring with such a great fighter, a legend, all the things that Manny has done? You're very confident. When you got in the ring and you went 12 rounds with this guy, even though he won the fight, did you feel like you were out of your depth with a guy like him because of everything he accomplished and how he was handling you? Or did you feel like, even though you lost, you felt like, you know what, I belong here in this kind of fight and I can compete, even though maybe you didn't go your way Without a doubt, I belong there. You know, this is where I belong. I mean, to have Manny Pacquiao think two, three, four times before coming in, I mean, he, he, he wasn't coming in comfortably. You know, I was trying to catch him every chance that I got. You know, but, uh, you know, uh, which made it a chess match. It made it very interesting, very intriguing. I mean, we were both thinking in there, trying to connect with different shots. You know, uh, like I said before, Manny Pacquiao wasn't as busy because he, he knew that I was waiting for him to come in. I was trying to connect as much as I could. Fight, but, you know, I hope that they enjoyed it overall. One other question for you, Jesse. Can you describe the, the, the punching power that Manny still has? He hasn't had a knockout for a long time, but he's been scoring knockdowns. Obviously, he dropped you. Can you just uh, compare his power to some other guys you may have been in with? And how does he compare it? He has good speed. Uh, when he caught me in the beginning of the fight, uh, I did some punch coming, which you know resulted in a flash knockdown. But uh, I got back up and I made sure to Time to speed down, and, and that's when the right hand starts coming in. But then uh, he was starting to be very cautious with, the, with my right hand, and which resulted in him not being as busy. Jesse, did you feel frustration that you couldn't connect with the right hand? And if so, what point of the fight were you starting to get frustrated? I wasn't frustrated. I mean, he wasn't connecting that much. At, all, at least I felt. You know, I have to look back at the videos, but uh, you know, he would. Do uh, some flurries every now and then, but they weren't very, they weren't connecting very much. You would connect with that left from time to time, and um, I would connect with my right from time to time. So I thought it was an even fight, to be honest. That's what I felt inside that ring. Um, I don't argue with the judges, but I thought that it was, it was a close fight, and um, that's, that's what I was feeling. So, uh, I mean, I belong here, and I know that I'm sorry that I let my, my fans down in this fight. I hope that they enjoyed it, and I, uh, I plan to uh, use it as experience, come back stronger, and capture another world title. I mean, this is only the beginning of my career. Manny Pacquiao has more world title fights than I have fights. You know, I'm still very young and I'm going to use that alert as a learning experience. I promise to get better from it and just come back and, and capture another world title. I'm not going to win. I'm going to How quickly would you like to come back? Uh, that's up to my manager and promoter. But uh, for now, we should go back to the drawing board with my team. You know, I'm very proud of my team. You know, uh, they, they, they did. I mean, who is it? Who is it? Good match. To me, it was a good match because we were both, both uh, thinking in there, trying to you know, connect with clean shots. And to do that against Manny Pacquiao, it means that I have a bright future. That's the way I see it. And my team and I, we continue to go back to the front of the Jesse, who would you like to fight next? Anyone in particular? That's up to my manager, the motor camera, Dr. Bob, I've ever talked about. And my team, you know, uh, for now, going back to the board and look at the, the video and make sure to correct any mistakes possibly that, that we made and become a better fighter and, and capture another world title. That's, that's the ultimate goal. And you as a fighter, would you like to see, uh, Mayweather was ringside, would you like to see Mayweather back here one more time for what reason? I mean, everybody knows that I'm a boxing fan as well. Uh, of course, you know, uh, I, I wouldn't mind seeing it again. You know, everyone knows that uh, it was still very interesting to see what could happen. Hey Jesse, uh, is there any thoughts about you know either going down in weight or you know getting out of the welterweight division? I feel good in the welterweight division. Like I said, I mean, for Manny Pacquiao to think two, three, four times before coming in because of my power, you know, it means that this is where I belong. And Manny Pacquiao is one of the best fighters in the welterweight division. I was able to give a a good fight. It means this is, this is where I belong, and I'm going to get stronger from this fight. I promise that. Did you feel your power was where you thought it would be tonight? I was strong. I connected. I, I surprised him with some shots. Uh, he respected my power. That's why he wasn't coming in. I mean, we normally see a, a, a offensive.
with Manny Pacquiao, and in this fight he wasn't that offensive. You know, he, he thought a lot before coming in. That means that I'm respecting my power, and um, you know, I respect him as a fighter as well. You know, and uh, congratulate him. Thanks. I got three more points, so I try my best. Thank you all. Jesse, right in front of you.